بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لإيلا في قريش قاف must be pronounced clearly with sufficient emphasis Ra will be pronounced full mouth as it contains fatha. Also, the letter sheen must be pronounced clearly and audibly. It is often pronounced subdued. When making waqf on the word Quraysh and similarly on verses 2, 3 and 4, al maddulin will be applicable. Pupils are expected to lengthen here to the duration of three alifs. However, the lengthening of each must be consistent and to achieve this consistency, pupils should use their fingers and move them slowly. Ilafihim <laughs> رحلت الشتاء والصيف المد المتصل will be applicable here and must be lengthened for four alifs فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت Hathal bayt. Not hathal bayt. Care must be taken to ensure that incorrect qalqala is not carried out on lam sakina. Alladhi al-tu'amahum When carrying out al maddul munfasil, it must be sufficiently lengthened to the duration of three alifs. Quite often, this mud is insufficiently lengthened. Al-tu'amahum. Qalqala will occur here. Also, letter ta is pronounced full mouth. Hence, the qalqala will be carried out in a manner where the letter ta is also pronounced full mouth. When carrying out ikhfa of nun sakina on mil, all the guidance mentioned previously must be borne in mind. And when making waqf on the word jur, Care must be taken to ensure that qalqala is not carried out on the letter Ain. Hence to recite This will be incorrect. The correct pronunciation is Where Ain is pronounced clearly but without qalqala on it. وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْف Some pupils here, they recite wa where they add an alif after waw. This is incorrect. Also, there will be no ikhfa of nun sakina on min khawf, pupils must remember this and not apply ikhfa incorrectly. Also, there must be no qalqala made here on nun sakina. Some pupils recite min khawf. This is incorrect. Practice must be made to ensure that qalqala is not carried out here. Hence, the correct recitation will be 
وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ